Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on day number four of the week. We're talking on this week about turn on the light. And I'm also adding a little flavor there, turn up the light. Those of us who've already turned the light on through faith in Jesus Christ need to turn the light up so that the whole world can see. Jesus told us to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature not just a chosen few, not just some in our own uh, family, our family, of course, how important that is. Wouldn't it be a shame if you won the world, preached to the multitudes, and your own family die and go to hell? What a horrible thought that is. But with Thanksgiving just in the past, and with the opportunity right ahead of us, and Christmas on the way, uh, and you can see all the bright lights, it's talking about turn on the light and turn up the lights and turn the lights on and turn on, open the fireplace and hang up the wreath and, and uh, let's just get busy for the Lord Jesus Christ, not talking about the material things of this world, but talking about your opportunity and my opportunity to allow that light of Christ to shine through us. How important that is. We've talked this week about salvation, the light of salvation. We've talked about why uh, some people reject that light. We've dealt with that a little bit. And then we talked about sanctified, that is living the light. Being sanctified, that word sanctified, let me make it simple, set apart. We're different from the world. We're not blending into the background. We're not just after the material things that the world has to offer. All those material things are not bad. I wouldn't re reject any of them, but I want to tell you something. I'm not going to live for them. And uh, we're going to live for the Lord Jesus Christ and for, the, for the God the Father and for the Holy Spirit that indwells us and do our best to magnify him and lift him up. And uh, so we talked about those three different areas. And today I want you to think about this. I want you to think about one simple word. It's called glorification. Glorification. What do you, who do you want to glorify? You want to glorify self or you want to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ? Bring honor and glory to him. Let me just read you a couple of verses here. The Bible says, And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. The glory of God did lighten it. And by the way, Jesus is that glory of God, isn't he? The glory of God, Jesus, did lighten it. Jesus is the light, the Bible says in another passage. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 5, it says, And there shall be no night there. Think about that. No night, ladies and gentlemen, eternal day, eternal light with the Lord Jesus Christ. Won't need any sleep, won't need any rest. We'll have that glorified body that's just busy serving God and, and maybe traveling. You know, in my own mind, I, I've always had this idea of, well, what am I gonna do when I get to heaven? I thought, you know, I've always been interested in space and technology, almost took a uh, took a job with, I think it was McDonnell Douglas, it's been so many years ago now, I confused those major uh, corporations, but I think it was McDonnell Douglas out west uh, to work on the Gemini Project. I do remember that. It was the Gemini Project after I, after I uh, graduated from United Electronics Laboratory and uh, I had a job offer there and that was, that was really intriguing and I thought, man, what a, what a privilege that would be to meet the astronauts perhaps and when it came down to the thing, if I went there and worked a while and maybe could advance through the program there and uh, gain some uh, some, some position and, and be able to be a great part of that. That was really intriguing to me. And then, you know, when God called me to preach, I set all that aside and said, you know, I believe that one of these days I'm going to be able to visit the stars, visit the universe as a, as a child of God that's been born again. And they'll still be struggling to try to figure out how to get to Mars, how to, how to put a man on Mars, or, or how can we call it Kala, Kanala? Can we put a colony, <laughs> excuse me, get my tongue got behind my eye tooth, I couldn't see what I was saying, but we put a colony on, on the moon or whatever else it is. But uh, folks, I'm not interested in that anymore. What I'm interested in is getting people ready for heaven. And I just want to turn up the light, turn on the light and turn up the light and help get folks ready for heaven. Jesus is that light. He glorifies us. 
He helps us to be what he wants us to be. And God is so, uh, so emphasizes that idea of being the light in a world. He, Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. We're the lights. And let, let, let's, we sing a song in church often, at least years ago. I, don't, I haven't heard it much lately, but talking about let the lower lights be burning. That's us. Let the lower lights be burning. And send the, the news across the waves. Let's get to the world. Let's get the light of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. And let's pray together. Ask God to help us do it. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we do have the opportunity to be a shining light for the glory of God. Help us to do it. Thank you, Lord, that one day the light shined on me. And one day, many others who are saved, the light shined on them. And you put the light of the gospel, the glorious gospel of Christ in their heart and in their life. And they've been saved. And, and many of them are serving you. God, help them to turn up the light. And uh, let's make a difference. Let's have an impact. Let's don't play church. Lord, help us to get real. And Father, we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.